Today we're going to replace a heavy lead acid battery in my Honda Civic with our smaller lithium battery, 7 amp hour, and uh, should be quite simple and easy to do. So here we go. First, you, I've already loosened these, so I'm going to pull these off. If they're dirty, clean them. Don't break your back when you lift this, it's quite heavy. So, I've already removed the uh, hold down brackets, by the way. Now, we're going to put this battery on the scale, and we're going to see how much this battery weighs. This is a small battery, this is a uh, 410 cold cranking amps. 25.6 pounds. All right. Our lithium battery weighs 2.2 pounds. Okay. So, I'm going to take this tray out. Installing the battery is quite easy. We've got two uh, holes here where the uh, hold down uh, bracket used to go. So I'm going to put a zip tie, which will be our hold down strap. Through here. I'm wearing gloves because it gets really dirty down here. So it's always a good thing to put gloves on. Okay, it's not going to quite be enough, so I'm going to put on an additional zip tie because the battery will be coming in about like that. So put on a second one. Here we go. That should do it. Put the tray in. Put our big battery in. Just like that. And there we go. And lithium battery installed. That's not going anywhere. Okay. Next, since this is a temporary setup, uh, I've chosen to use the quick disconnects, which this battery has, and the jumper cable clamps to be as my contact. Normally, this would uh, be used to jump start a vehicle. But it'll serve the same purpose since it's a temporary installation only. So, obviously, this clamps around here. Good contact. And this to uh, insulate the red, I'm going to put some plastic around it. Again, this is not for show, it's just for functionality. So, a couple of baggies there. Not a big deal. Just want to be safe when we hook up the positive. We don't want any sh accidental shorts. Okay. There's our clamp there. Pull that up a little bit just for the hell of it. That's yeah, good enough. And we'll plug in the battery. That goes there. That goes there. That is the install of a lithium battery. You don't need these anymore. And let me also say a couple of things. This battery does not have a BMS in it. That is optional. If you have an alarm or you leave the lights on or you burn your stereo, then yes, that will drain the battery just like any other lead acid battery. If that's the case, you can get an optional BMS, like this. This will be built into the battery pack, balancing wires. This keeps the battery from draining all the way down. This is a $150 option. This little switch here bypasses the cutoff. So if you did leave your lights on until it got cut off, you could hit this button right here, 
which is built into the BMS and it could reactivate your battery so you could start the car. So that's a neat little feature. I know some of you are wondering, looks good but it gets pretty hot under the engine compartment. Well, with a lead acid battery they always say keep away from flame. Uh, that's not really the case in the lithium. This is the covering right here. Here's your flame and let's put it to the test. I'm waiting for it to burn and it just isn't burning. It is flame proof. Alright. This is a ammeter. I'm going to turn it on. We're going to measure the current draw when I start the car. I've turned it to 400 amps, zeroed it out, put it around the negative. Okay, I'm going to go start the car and we're going to watch this number right here and we're going to see what uh, that comes out to be. I'm going to start the car twice and here we go. And that is it. Battery works perfectly. Thank you very much for watching.